Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Bukhari. Yesterday I showed you the uh, responsive email slider we created from the scratch, right? And today, and I also promised that I will create this full width responsive email slider. So, uh, this tutorial is about creating the full width responsive email slider, okay? So from the scratch. So, this is what we are going to create, but maybe slightly the arrow may be changed or dots may be changed okay that's not the big thing the thing is that is the full width responsive image slider okay okay this is what we are going to create from the scratch <coughs> let's get started so I'm opening my favorite code editor Dreamweaver but first let's minimize this let's create a folder on the desktop and give it a name full width responsive email slider 2015 and within this folder I'm going to create a folder called images and another folder I'm going to create is called JS for script files or j jQuery files okay so first I think what we're going to do is that we're gonna get the engine of the image slider okay those are the uh, jQuery files from one from malsup.com and other one is from jQuery.com okay so let's get started there let's get the uh, jQuery file first jQuery.com so when you come to this page click on this big download button and scroll a little below and click on these uh, the latest version so click on the uh, desktop and then the select the folder we create just created full width responsive image slider okay so click on select the js folder and then within the js folder you just save it but make sure it has a js extension with this okay so save and we just did and finally um we're going to go to malsup.com so when you come to this page click on this um icon in there jquery plugins by malsup this is great malsup's site okay where all the plugins are he created hey what's up what's up how are you doing happy new year 2015 again we are so grateful to have you seriously so thank you very much for creating all this awesome stuff so click on cycle 2 and then when you come to this page the same drill okay so download click on download click on this cycle 2 production version and then when you come to this page code page click file save page as the desktop our root folder and then the js folder where we already have the jquery library file and finally the jquery cycle 2 plugin file okay js file save and we are done with the um, jquery files which is the main files for the image sliders slider okay so and selecting the images folder i'm going to grab these uh, three images from the desktop to this image folder and again this is the images that i'm going to use this is wide enough okay to fill up the screen whatever the screen size is okay so make sure your images is wide enough this is um, 2560 width 2560 pixels width and 764 height okay your may yours may be different but make sure that it is wide enough okay so and these are my photography okay I hope you like it so these are the three images that we're going to use in the full width image slider okay so moving on and we're done collecting the uh, contents for the slider now we're going back to dreamweaver first file new 
select the HTML make sure the doc type is HTML5 then create first give the page a title so it is going to be full width responsive image slider 2015 okay and also save as in that root folder full width image slider folder and also give this file a name so full width responsive image slider 2015 you can give any name i'm just giving this name to make some sense that what this is what we're going to create okay so you get fancy with this with the naming convention so <clears throat> so save and this is the root folder and we're going to save it in the root folder and that's almost done in there but first at the meta tag click on the insert if you are on dream river insert if you don't find that there then insert in window then select the common and then the head click on this arrow viewport and there you go this is required for anything responsive okay so yep so you must add this if you are creating any responsive website or page okay web page all right so moving on then just after the title i'm going to add the script tag script type text slash javascript source first we're going to add the uh, jquery library file okay then close it like so one more time script type text slash javascript space source enter twice and finally the jquery cycle 2 plugin file okay and close it like so and save we have our engine all right in the page and it is almost ready okay so that's all we need okay and next what we're going to do is that we're gonna style put the step um, <coughs> put all the body content the structure okay so HTML I mean the uh, deep tags so first I'm going to add the comment tag in there so it's going to be full with responsive image slider so also going to copy this paste it below and add end in front of it so that we can recognize that this is the ground for the full width image slider and you can copy everything within here in your page wherever you want and it's gonna work okay so um, let's add a div tag div give it a class called cycle cycle hyphen slide show and that's it close it like so and within these we're going to add our images img source so select on the image then we're going to add our image first uh, i'm going to add the black ones and also we're going to give it the alternate text this is a good practice so um black b leave photo by close it <clears throat> like so and let's copy this and paste it twice and simply going to change the images link different image and then the uh, and the leaf photo only leaf <coughs> and the last one 
it's going to be the color transparent leaf and there you go so a refresh is there and then select the full width responsive image slider 2015 that we have created okay and then it's there okay excellent so it is already working as you can see it's fading by default okay so this is cool the image slider is 80% ready okay so in the split mode code mode so we are gonna manipulate these with our CSS okay so let's do it so first I'm going to add the universal sign but before that style tag a style type text slash JavaScript close it like so and then the asterisk key padding 0 merging 0 close it also body font family because we will be using uh, font characters okay so it's going to be sans serif all right save and also img space brackets max width equals max width is 100 percent okay <clears throat> so that's it and then it's, uh, it's in already in shape okay so there you go that's cool so because it's a full width image slider right and you can have a look go smaller smartphone go even a smaller less smartphone okay that's it so there you go the image slider is 90 percent complete and now we're gonna um add some styling in the slide cycle slideshow as you can see it's already done right it's already done with this amount of CSS only IMG max with 100% that's it how cool it is can you imagine this this is your HTML structure right and this is the CSS all right to make it fit in the browser no matter how big your browser is okay so let's this is 1392 okay let's select this one and it's gonna roll this is 1580 pixels wide check that out the image is fitting in there okay so that's cool so um, let's get back to the default view now so we're going to work with the cycle slideshow class right so um, cycle slideshow give the width 100% okay it works either way so and also display block and also give it a position relative because we will be holding the pager and the arrows within these 100% space okay so and also uh, we could give margin not necessary because it's filled up with the screen right so just give it margin zero or yeah from zero top bottom and auto in both sides it's not required but you can still give it because the image is filling up the width of the browser window okay so you can keep it or you can you could remove this okay so anyway just keep it there's no harm with this let's check it in full live view see if this works it works so moving on so we're done with this slideshow class right now we're gonna add the um, pager and the arrows right so to do that within this div class cycles slideshow div class we're gonna add the span like before span tag and we're gonna give it a class give it a class called cycle 
hyphen PREV for previous arrow close it like so and also give the special character in there and sign hash sign and then 9001 and then semicolon and that's added the uh, left arrow simply copy this paste it twice and change the second one to next and also change this number to 2 and we have our next arrow in there and finally remove this code from the third one and make this a pager okay so pager is normally will be dots right and that should be here and it is okay everything is good save now we're gonna simply style them all right so let's dive in further so first work with the cycle pager cycle pager i mean the uh, previous and next so we're gonna select previous then comma then space then dot cycle next because they both have same property okay so um first we're gonna give them like a font size font size 200 percent from the base size so it's bigger now as you can see and then uh color white color and then make, make it a display block a level element and then position is going to be absolute so it is going to be the child of this relative cycle slideshow okay so next and previous icon will be the child of this cycle slideshow okay and what it means that it will remain within this area okay yeah so <clears throat> and then um so we have we need to give the z index value otherwise we won't be able to see that see them okay where is my cycle next and previous hello anyways we're gonna find it don't just worry so also we're gonna give it a cursor pointer okay cursor pointer and also we need to put them in the right place left previous arrow will be here and the uh, next arrow will be here okay so for that we need to give them a specific uh, value and property property and values like this one the previous will be left from the left it will be like 10 percent and that should be here but it's not anyways we're gonna fix it so and then for the next cycle next right 10 percent i did that mistake not putting this semicolon in the last video okay you don't please do correct them if you are also doing it put this semicolon all right so save also um don't just worry about the arrows okay so keep moving we are we're gonna style the cycle pager okay so dot cycle pager then first we're gonna give this a width of 100 percent to fill up the screen and then text align center and also give it a position also um display give it a display property and value is going to be block also position is going to be absolute right and from the top we want it to be um you can already see this here in the middle from the top or we want it to be from bottom okay b o t t o m 20 pixels that's good it's it's here yep there you go so now we're gonna um, style the dot we're also gonna need to give a z ingress value in there so and now we'll be able to see this there we go and now we're gonna style those um, black dots so to do that cycle pager 
space span and then curly brackets then first give it a width like 12 pixels and then height is going to be 12 pixels and then display is going to be block give it a border one pixel solid white color and also border radius uh, like 50 percent all right it's there also make sure the block display block is inline block so that they lies next to each other okay like so and also um, make some space in between them to do that margin zero from top bottom 10 pixels from each other that's cool okay so we also remove want to remove the black dots right so to do that put the same drill do the same drill text indent 100% and white space no wrap and that's it that's gone right so save now we want to see which which slide is active which slide is current and on so to get an um identification things like that which slides is, is on and or active all right so to the, do that we need to add the cycle pager class then a space don't dot cycle pager again and add the hyphen active and also give the background color is going to be white and there you go we are done with the ms a full width ms slider all right let's check it in live view but i still can't see the um Oh, the arrows where are the arrows where did you go so our um, also we need to give this cycle pager this cycle pager a cursor pointer cursor pointer save so whenever you hover over this you will have a pointer icon and you will be able to click all right so let's check it in the browser if the arrows shows up it should be but it didn't anyways the um, this is the full width image slider okay you can use this as a hero image fixed with content and full width image slider and that's really cool so let's fix the uh, next and previous buttons right we should be able to see this okay so we're not seeing this because we put position absolute but where from the where it should be showing up right so we need to add a, a top or bottom value okay so from the top it's going to be 50 percent okay and there you go so there we have our um, arrows in there plus we need to but we need to make sure that it is vertically center okay so to do that we need to give it a margin top minus the base font size size 16 pixels and that's it and there you go there we have our beautiful full width image slider done in no time okay so um let's let's check it in safari firefox there you go also you can click in there here and there you go let's check it in the there you go that's the beautiful full width responsive image slider let's check it in google chrome there you have it beautiful beautiful work excellent okay so last but not least check it in safari that's the final version of it you can click the dots pager arrows wherever and there you go and that's how you create beautiful full width image slider okay for your web projects
and I believe it's cool and I hope that you like it you learned something from this and it's really easy right so this is the only the code required for this beautiful image slider full with image slider this is the HTML structure for this and this is only the CSS required for that okay that's it and this then finally the engine of the image slider are the two jQuery files okay one is jQuery library file another one is jQuery cycle 2 plugin from multsub.com yep thank you multsub for creating this amazing uh, cycle plugin too and also thank you uh, the jQuery people who created jQuery and I also thank myself for putting this effort and to show you for showing you okay so have fun building it learn something from this maybe and please do share with others and share your love with multiple jQuery people and you can also share your love with me you are most welcome so thank you for your time thank you for being here thank you for having me so again happy new year 2015 and yeah there you go have fun i you will i will see you in my next video take care bye